703, uh, we have a quorum. So I will call the Hadley Committee for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion uh, August meeting to order. We skipped over our July meeting because of just too many vacations and other conflicts and uh, commitments. So here we are. Uh, thank you, Pat, for giving us the agenda so well put together. Um, anyone want to offer any opening reflections, maybe brighten up the room after the dark t turn I took with <laughs> end of life pet story? <laughs> No, nope. and see everybody. No pressure, and good to be seen, right? Yes. Yeah. Right. And I think I no fire. I, say, I appreciate <laughs> all the resources that you have given us, and all the work you've done to get this all on paper. What we're doing and bring some order into it. Yeah. I really appreciate it. It's a lot of work. Yeah. All right, well, I will jump into the first report, and that will be the minutes. Uh, we have half a minute if anyone wants to just scan over them again. Or... I, the only edit I see is item nine next meeting should say July 20, even though it didn't happen. Uh, that's what we thought it was going to be. We thought it was going to be. Well, this says the minute. I'm looking at the minutes of May 18th. Okay. Am I looking Maybe at the minutes? Mine is meeting 6, 18, 23. Oh, did I, I gave you the wrong minutes. Yeah. I printed the one that I got. Well, I won't edit these. I printed out. Can I see mine? That's what I printed out. Right. But yours also says when? May 18th. Oh, does it? Oh, this says, that says this is meeting of six eighteen. Okay. Okay, so then there's two edits. Mm -hmm. Are there two? I guess. Town of Hallett when? Okay, so the one needs to say June 18th. And then the next meeting is just like July 20th. And everything else was oh, detail. I should you should keep that for a little bit. I think she really does these leaves these little right. cookies so that we can find something. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, can you repeat, Joanne, the two sure. edits? So at the very top, where it says what, when, where, who, the when would be oh, okay. June 18 instead of May. Oh, yes, yeah, got it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's in the yes. older cut. And then you turn that over and go all the way to almost to the end. Yeah. Item nine. Yep. So item number nine, uh, next meeting, July, July 20th. July 16th or July? It was, I looked up, it was a Thursday, it was July 20th. Okay. okay. So it looks like those maybe were just thank the you. dates of the last one or something. Yeah, thank you. Kind of, mm -hmm. I do that on the business too. Okay, thank you very much. Otherwise, this, excellent. This is the one that came out first as a draft action. I didn't bother printing them. It's one that has that came out of the PDF. I would entertain if anyone has a motion to move the minutes of July 20th. Yes, I'll second that. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I would accept these with those two edits. So move. Yeah, second. Sure, I second that. Uh -huh. All, All in favor? favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Thank you. Um, four, old business. Uh, report on Growing Up Trans, the movie matinee. And we had Megan oh, great. and Pat and Sarah. Megan's not here. And Joanne, you were there too. I came, I couldn't stay for the discussion. Um, I passed out the handout that Megan put together uh, for oh, the nice. 
for the film and the discussion so that you should have that on one page of what I handed out. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I couldn't make it, so I will try to catch that. Mm -hmm. I assume it can be streamed online or? It, it, you can um, stream yeah. it through Canopy. Yeah. Canopy. Yeah, through the was, library. Yeah. Very thoughtful. Yeah. Canopy actually had, I just, when we first started talking about doing a, a, a movie that would be something to do with being transgender, I just went into Canopy and I used their search box to, you know, transgender. And I got loads of results. And then I was like, and now I have to go do the next thing. I, you know, so I'm just going to copy the URL of this search mm -hmm. result and send it to Megan. Because <laughs> I don't have time to look at all of these right. movies. So she picked out the one that we actually watched, which was a great choice. Really up trans. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Megan. She did a wonderful job processing the conversation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, very thoughtful. You know, she's a social worker, yeah. so she prepared in advance, and, and people engaged in a lot of conversation. Yeah. And several people came up afterwards and said they were delighted that Hadley would show a movie on the topic because it's headline news, mm -hmm. and people didn't know too much about it, but felt they needed to, mm -hmm. and were, were very appreciative of our committee, and um, several people had attended some of our other films, and that we're bringing diversity issues to the Senior Center and into the heart of Hadley. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think we yeah. felt pretty good about it. Good. Right. And it's, it, it's the support of the Senior Center, the library, Hadley learns it all. But I mean, I, yeah, yeah, it comes up later, but it's all felt, felt good. Yeah. And I don't think it's even that remote. I mean, I think you can, so many degrees of separation. I, you know, as I was saying, just got married the end of July. And on the second, we got married on Saturday. And the Sunday party, which was, we invited 100, we had 78 came. And of those, two of my friends have children. One has a daughter that's now their son. And one has a son who is considering coming to down. So it's not that far away. He was, sees a lot of this in Longmeadow High School. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they renamed their choirs. It was a women's choir and a girls' choir and boys' choir, and they've got neutral names now because they yeah. had at least two or three mm -hmm. people who are in transition mm -hmm. who are singing with a choir that their outward appearance would not say they should be in mm. if they had those names. Mm -hmm. So they're opening up to that. Oh, nice. And, uh, Are they removing the, the gendered part? Or do you know what? No. So just it's they renamed the choir. Neutral, 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 yeah. neutral but, yeah. Instead of the women's instead choir, the women's choir. Men's choir yeah. choir or the male choir, oh, right. it's now another name. Yeah. Okay. And uh, that's not unusual in high schools now. Yeah. I'm sure it's unusual in some places, but yeah, I um, can uh, think of a state yeah. that would be unusual. Yeah. <laughs> it honestly <laughs> scares people. I mean, with all the legislative efforts to, I mean, I don't know how much of that would happen grassroots without the behind the scenes efforts of those who are stoking the fires. But I think it would be good if we kept that on our front burner yeah. and did something else. Yeah. In that area. Maybe something in a more general thing, because like this attack on transgender people is just the latest flavor of scapegoating. Yeah. I mean, it's just in the same hopper with all kinds of other ways of othering and scapegoating some marginal community that has nothing to do with your problems. Mm -hmm. Then maybe we should do more than one or two of these. Yeah, here. I mean, it's, it's like go back to this. It's like a kind of some kind of literacy kind of thing. Like, how do you recognize when this? You know, instead of saying, "Oh, yes, I'm all about transgender people," it's really important. Like, no, no, no. This is. I mean, yes, that's important, but this is about othering and scapegoating. 
How do we spot it when it's the next one and shut it down before it kills people? Yeah, I think approaching it in specific ways, such yeah. as this is what happens about transgender to, to transgender people. Mm -hmm. This is what happens in another situation with color. This is what happens with me. But to do something general, I think, wouldn't be as effective as the rest. As being well, maybe specific. Just incorporate that in somehow yeah. because seeing um, the specifics helps people to open up. Right. Yeah, I guess right. start where they are. Yeah, I, I think so. And I think yeah. it's in some ways it's easy to generalize for people and say, oh yeah, I support all those things. But when you get down to the yes. this one or that one, that's where the disagreements mm -hmm. often show up most. Yeah, but you know, to get people to look behind that curtain, you know, why, why is that the flavor du jour? What is it hiding? What are what are people hiding behind this issue? Because transgender people are not dangerous. They don't <laughs> shoot people on the street. They don't, you know, whatever. There must be those, some other resources that we could make available. Yeah, to those things are going on, but transgender people are not the ones doing it. No, no, no. I think so you're sort of asking about why is that group of people a threat? What is threatening? Or what's really, why are you scapegoating somebody instead of addressing the real problems? Yes, this is reminding me of the right language, and I'm reading right from here. Annie McKenzie, can you help me understand? She and this is in in what what's in here in the minutes. Mm -hmm. It says, "Can you help me understand what you object to?" But there's a way to act to invite yeah. conversation. Yeah. To I I mean I get what you're saying, yeah. but to say why are you scapegoating? They're, we're going to get defensive. Right. Right. Yeah. I, I know. Why are you hiding all that language? But, but, but it, yeah. it, can you help me understand? I, I I had an interaction with someone not here in Vermont. Mm -hmm. um, I've run this before. This is my hometown. It's very rural. Yeah. And there is a sentiment among certain people that anyone who's getting public assistance is is just sucking, you know, the whole handouts and that whole perspective. I, and as you all know, I've been very right. interested in class and yeah, economic yeah, that's, that's another. But I, 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 I just, this is a transaction in a gas station. So I, I, yeah. it's not going to be where I'm going to sit down and dialogue. But it, it, it just struck me how easily he just, all of them. Right. And I'm thinking, okay, I have family members who are getting, you know, and so yeah. I, I'm like, it's not so simple as that. Right. But if I could have the time, help me understand yeah. more about right. your perspective that, that they're all taking handouts and could easily work, but choose not to. That, that's that, and I've yeah. I've run into that sentiment. Yeah, in my hometown, of it's a certain demographic, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, and that, I'm sure, and I know that's around here too. Oh yeah, you we know. saw it with but the how can we the have ZBA here? And, you know, have yeah. Annie McKenzie yeah. teach everyone, <laughs> yes. us engage in that way, right? She she yeah. could very well have done a workshop of some sort. Yeah, to learn that that that's learned. Yeah, you know that's not something I learned yeah. growing up. I didn't see that modeled anywhere. Right. You know, can you help me understand yeah. your thinking, your viewpoint, what you object to, what, what you're seeing? Wow. Mm -hmm. like yeah, something like that. And so back to the film, I, I yeah. just thought it was eye-opening to hear the young people just being vulnerable enough to share how painful it was, how hard it was. How and that, that brings up for me all this stuff about what, what you know as how, what what we I as a woman should be or as a man should be all that stuff you know there's there's a whole there's a lot of layers anyway mm -hmm. I was really really glad that I came I had to go back to work so I couldn't hear much the rest of it the, the discussion I think anytime we open up the discussion about this. Uh, and it gets talked about openly. There may be two people in the room who might be influenced by that. But yeah. talking about it openly and unthreateningly, I think, is the best service we can provide. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
Mm. Yeah, it's there may be a knee-jerk reaction when someone says something oppositional to get defensive, but then we just reinforce our different sides of offense. And so if we're more engaging, you know, yeah. like the example that you gave the end, yeah. we're more trying to hear, like, okay, yeah. like and not even so much you don't want to make them feel like you're going to judge them as soon as their words come out of the way. You say, all right, I just like to hear. And they may say stuff that you really want to rebuke, rebut, but uh, mm -hmm. that makes we lose because, of it if we do that. Yeah, and this approach, if this, this person uh, knows how to do that in a way, and we have, you know, we have enough of the other, of the accusations and the uh, strong sentiments. Yeah. You can't think that way. You can't. But to invite people and yeah. to to consider from a human point of view the way this person did, and that takes a pro. Yeah, yeah. And the more we can do that. Yeah. Uh, my question is how to get people who disagree with this. Right. To come to a place, mm -hmm. uh, and I think it would have to be an the feature, the feature of whatever we sponsor needs to be something that is unthreatening, mm -hmm. but that, but that opens up curiosity about an issue. Mm -hmm. But if we, if you right away advertise this as we're going to change you. Come see how you can be changed. That's not what people. I. That's not what I was trying to. No, I know, know that. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Okay. But to find yeah. it's it's a real yeah. difficult thing. These yeah, days I mean, that's to help difficult. open up this conversation in a way that people feel they can listen to, mm -hmm. and they are listened to. Yeah. It, and the more I read every day, the more I. You know, there's 51 to 49 percent on every issue, and we both know yeah. what the answer is. And <laughs> yeah. any way we can get around that by opening it up and respecting. Yeah, I, I don't yeah, know. And I know I've that. read about how, like, tell me why you feel that way. What would be the worst thing that would happen if? You know, there was same-sex marriage or something like that. Really, do you think that would happen? How would that affect you? You know, to keep drawing them out and let them almost convince themselves that that they've been and they're manipulated people, into love. Uh, and the people who know that feel. know how to do that. I don't know how to yeah, do that. I don't know. You know do that. So yeah. finding the people who know how to do that right. and making a place for them to to lead that discussion. Yeah. Yeah. I just feel yeah. like it's really, really important because yes. we have people in positions of power who are master manipulators, master, master manipulators. They're not even ashamed of it anymore. And they have the power to kill people with that manipulation. I was raised in the South. Yeah. And so yeah. That, for me, that's always been true. Right. Oh, yeah, it's always been true. It's just... It feels like it's on a grander scale even now than it was even during World War II, for instance. You know, I mean, we haven't hit six million yet, but. <laughs> well, I would be in favor of our. Yeah, this is important. We need to come to an agreement to about some event we could sponsor, which yeah. makes dialogue possible. Right. Right. Yeah, I like I that word. And consider it's going to take some thinking yeah. and some exploring, but this lady. Annie McKenzie is obviously mm -hmm. one who could do that, and yeah. if we could, that's a start. Considering our limited bandwidth, maybe we could look at something that we do three or four times a year. You know, if we want to try to step it up, yeah, you know, maybe start with twice a year and then three times a year. I don't know. And this person could help us. Present it in a way and title it in such a way that it's inviting mm -hmm. and not already telling mm -hmm. people uh, which side you're going to land on. But mm -hmm. I, I, I get more and more discouraged 
uh, for my children and grandchildren. That that's so hard to do these days, just to get people to talk openly with each other when they disagree. Yeah. And and that road is is leading us in the wrong direction. I think. So if we could do something. Mm. Uh, and it's going to take some thinking, and I don't even know where to start. But contacting this Annie. person. Yep. Well, I um, think this could actually go under, we could continue this discussion under new business in terms of future collaborations. You're right. This yes. could yeah. be a collaboration. This yeah. could be the collaboration we want to it could be. develop and implement. Right. I think it would be an excellent one. Yeah. Great. Good. Yeah. I, I'm on board with that. Yeah. This kind yes. of fundamental, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that gets open dialogue. Yes. <laughs> I think there's some passion and concern there. That was that was lovely. Um, for B, have immediate technical support training mm -hmm. scheduled for September. I wonder if we could ask our host to <laughs> further inform us. Right. So that, that September 15th date that we were talking about, that's when we're going to end um, us coming and doing these um, uh, meetings. <clears throat> um, so before September 15th, um, we like to get at least one or two of the community members if interested to learn how to use the OWL or another alternative that's, although you're on Zoom, so I think the OWL will be the best um, plan to go. Um, it's very simple to use. Um, we stopped, we, since um, Russell's watch the school, because they were on our list too, got disbanded, we decided to do um, appointments instead of a, a class on certain days. So uh, I have business cards on me today. If you're interested in um, setting up a date, a time uh, to uh, learn how to use the owl with me, please do so um, and uh, grab a card before you leave. Okay, good, yeah. And um, I still want to note that this doesn't end the relationship with the committees at all. We still want to work with the committees um, in any which way, shape, or form. We just want to make sure that we're allocating our time for other things in town, too. That's all. Now, remind me, Alex, so remind us, is the town still going to provide Zoom services, like a link? Absolutely, I believe so. Because sometimes I think we've had to not schedule one week because they only have so many that they can... I don't know if that was there was only so many they could issue on their account, or there was only so many that they could support with your your manpower. It's so much they so the town has two Zoom licenses. Okay, so that's the limit. Okay, so two. When you say two licenses. Does that mean they can do two a week, two or each night, or two each same, night, two two, two at the same time, at the same time, two at the same, same time. time. Yeah, two at the same time. So you could have one at eight o'clock in the morning, and then have two at seven o'clock at night. Hmm. And that's new, right? The second license is new. I couldn't tell you. I think I at it. one point there was only one license, and then subsequent to that, I think it was within the last mm -hmm. year, probably yeah. they acquired a second license. Probably. Well, I mean, I had I knew about the two law licenses when I first came aboard last year. So I think you're right, though. Yeah, because I think it was just we weren't able to meet because there was a town meeting. I think at or something, Some, something yeah. that Some wasn't committed. Yeah. And so it was only one, but that, okay. And mm -hmm. it, just, could I ask a question about sure. the training so that it would include Al training? What about um, recording the, the meeting? If someone were to bring their laptop mm -hmm. and open up the Zoom link. Mm -hmm. I'd also give you a laptop. I see. I'd also okay. give you a laptop. I'm not gonna leave it hanging there. Okay. Um, I give you a laptop to use. Um, all really all it is is plugging in the USB cable, opening up Zoom, and selecting on um, the, the audio and video settings, which is very, very 
it's very, very, very yeah. easy. Like, yeah. I can select any microphone and any speaker I want to use, and I can select any camera I want to use too. There we go. So I can select, I can use the webcam, I can use the owl. Um, I see. I can use whatever this OBS virtual camera is, which I've yet to discover. Are these recorded? They are. So when I, most of the time, I believe, when the Zoom, Zoom links are created, they are set to automatically to record. Okay. When I've done them at work, we have the option at the end to save it to your hard drive or to the cloud. It's me. Cloud. Though. Yeah. Cloud's going to be easier because I'll be able to download it. Yeah. And then it that makes, put it up. Makes, like, makes the most sense. So once we have uploaded it or downloaded it, whatever you do, then from there, you take it and make it available. Correct. To anybody who wants right. to see it. Okay. They'll edit it and put the nice opening and then cut off the end if there's. Yep. Great. Yeah. We, 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 we take off the uh, beginning and end. Um, and we actually, we're, we're now starting to put in subtitles. Oh, nice. Okay. I, I will take that training. Okay. I wish it could be later in the fall, but. It's going to be only until September fifteenth. So I'm willing to work with you. We're working with the committee. I, I just had had to put a set set date there. Just have a date there. But I'm willing to work with the committee if the guys need more time. Um, that will definitely work with you on that. So I contact you. You're going to give us your card. And yep. And I contact contact you. if you're, are you recommending that that be in person? Definitely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was assuming that. Yeah. I would try to join that if I could with you or do a separate appointment because I I feel very comfortable with Zoom from, you know, I can Zoom mm -hmm. four times in a day mm -hmm. at UMass. But I don't know if the town account is the same as the, because one thing I'll mention. Why don't we set up a time? Yeah, we'll set just, up independent times we'll so that you could, yeah. So I like to remind Kimberly that um, if you have more than three, it's a meeting. Well, That's okay. the same. If more than three people are taking training at the same time, it's a meeting. So be careful of the open meeting. Okay. Uh, right. Thing. Okay. Um, maybe two meetings ago. One, um, uh, is it Allie? Abby. Abby. It was Abby. I think Abby had to leave and go support another meeting and left the laptop here. Mm -hmm. And it timed out on us. It said your 40 minutes is up, which I thought was what the free account uses. I don't know what happened that night. Yeah. Um, yeah, I honestly don't know what happened that night. Um, we can learn all the We can learn all this. But yeah. I don't think you should have an issue because... Yeah, I really don't think you should have an issue with that. Okay. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if that, if the recording that you got that night ended at 40 minutes or if mm -hmm. that was just an erroneous pop up and it actually continued to. No, I think it did cut your meeting off. Oh, yeah. So, so when I get his address, I'll put the three of us on it. Okay. Connecting for a date, and the two of us can do that together without it being illegal, right? From what I know, yes. Okay. But I also, I'm also not the open meeting expert. I right. just know things. Well, <laughs> yeah. I think <laughs> if it's our committee, if you have a quorum, I think if you have more than you know, then it's a. Okay. This qualifies a meeting. I mean, if we're just learning the video, meet. yeah. If you if you're meeting, I guess if you're meeting. If you have enough people to have a quorum of right. some sort, I think I should, have, what I should have said, then it's technically legally a meeting. Right. So it's not That's us connecting with you to get training in video. Right. It's we're acting as if a now, committee. Once you get that, now you that, that qualifies as a quorum, it, 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 it can break well, open right. law. Right. But if it's just the two of you, then that's, that's not a quorum. Yeah, that's that's quorum. That's quorum. You would need to have five. Yeah. Mm. So. <laughs> yeah. 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 Remember us? Remember our first year when we felt like we couldn't do anything? Yeah. We wanted to do all this yeah. work yeah. between meetings. That, right? yes. Yes. Then we finally yes. found comfort with subcommittees yeah. 
And yeah, that was very yeah, small. Yeah. Enough. yeah. So, okay. Very good. It's all yeah. meant for the betterment. Right. Oh, okay. sure. We'll make it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Right. And like I said, um, just to close out, if you don't mind, um, yeah. If there's anything that we can do to help any of your initiatives that are are a non-meeting thing, let us know. We're helping out the historical commission with some of their stuff currently. So, um, if it's, if you guys have an issue or a campaign you want to put together, you need you want our help. Feel free to reach out anytime. Thank you. That's great. Wonderful. Yeah, I remember uh, one of the gentlemen that was here before um, helped me put together my, you know, what went on having media was when I was running for office. It was, mm. They were very helpful. Hey, okay. it is good to know. Um, would you like to report about the proposed Connell Lodge affordable housing renovation well, update? I would, Mark. Thank you. So as um, Joanne reported last meeting, um, Valley CDC has leased the O'Connell Lodge to Craig's Doors. That You mentioned that you had read that in the Hampshire Gazette, and I did speak to Alexis at um, Valley CDC and she confirmed that to be the case and they were very happy to have it inhabited. Um, it, it's Craig's Doors, no. which is um, an association that supports people who find themselves without a home. Is, is that out of Amherst? Um, I, well, I believe it is, yes. And I if I remember correctly, and I could be crossing stories, I think that that organization, Craig Stores, has a project going, but it's not ready. And I so, think you're right. And so I think this is like their interim. I think so. Yeah. I think I, I heard that at some meeting. That's yeah. great. That's I right. I, I believe that's. I didn't remember the name, so it's Craig Stores. Yes, Craig Stores. And then Alexa said that um, there's nothing else that she can report at this time because. Um, Valley CDC is still in active litigation with the town over their denial of the permit request. And she said she appreciates our interest and our support. Okay. Will she let us know if there's anything we can help? She will. Way she will, because I did offer that. I said, is there anything we can do? And she Good. said she would let us know and that she has felt our support and appreciates it. Good. Great. Great. Thank you. Uh, business ideas for senior center uh, diversity, equity, inclusion movie matinee. So here we go. We were talking about this just as we, we were. Yeah. So I had thought that we would um, that it, the movie the movie matinee is as you can see October twentieth okay. um, at noon. Or twelve thirty. It's, it's around there. I can't remember the exact time. And being very close to Indigenous Peoples Day, I thought we might choose that as the topic. But when Violet poked her head in, she said that month is going to be an international month. And that's the theme uh, is international. The, yes. Mm -hmm. So um, she was hoping we could come up with a film that would. Highlight something. What do they mean by international? I think they're just going to highlight. Other cultures, but I don't know because I didn't hear specifically other other parts of the world. I wonder if we could do both. If there was some kind of a documentary or something that covered different continents, different countries, oh. um, conflicts with their indigenous people, right? right? The uh, you know what are the the outback of this Australia? What uh, okay, or, yeah, yeah, or right. at least Mexico or right, Korea, right. Or somewhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah, where, that's still that America. Might be okay. Where might we go to look for resources uh, to yeah. choose something? We Canopy. should well, thanks to but Sarah Canopy. 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 She introduced me to Canopy through the with, library oh, yeah. with a K. Canopy with a K. And so I actually did do a search on mm -hmm. films on indigenous people and I came up with a couple, but I'll do it again. There there were actually quite a few films mm -hmm. um set in Canada. 
indigenous oh, sure. relationships in Canada. Very ex more films about Canada oh, than the yeah. U.S. Yes, they had a. Oh, I yeah. remember there was an issue with their indigenous people, yeah, and they yeah. forced them into schools, yes, and there yeah. were a lot of. And that happened I here think too. They were like yeah. unmarked graves, I think. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Awful. They have here addressed too. that over the past yeah. five years. Yeah, yeah. 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 in been a big way. Yeah. yeah. Yes, and I, that would be good to know about. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Like because we, it's closely again, related to what happened. Here. Again, yeah. talking about positive resolutions yes. to things yeah, rather than. Morning fingers. Yeah. Okay. So I can, last time I, I worked with Violet to choose a film. I'm happy to work with anyone here to help choose a film. I'm happy to work with Violet. I'm happy to take your suggestions and watch the movies. That's what I have done in the past. So whatever works for people. I know there's a, she whispered to me, and, and the newsletter goes out next week. Um, but, but I have the weekend to watch movies, so I'm happy to do that. I have a project coming up in late October, which is going to, uh, I'm back in the preparation business, and it, <laughs> it takes longer now than it used to. Right. <laughs> so I don't know how much time I'm going to have, but I'm, I'm willing to work with you. You want to assign them to we we to watch? <laughs> yeah. I'd have to find them. I okay. can find them. And then be, this is making me think about all the many, many countries where colonization occurred mm -hmm. all over the globe. Mm -hmm. And if there might be some interesting mm -hmm. story about how some kind of resolution has been made. It's just everywhere, you know, India. And the, what the, the, the South Pacific, yeah. you know, where yeah. all kinds of islands, it's just everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I would really like, I would really like to focus as much as we can on us, on this country and Canada and next door and sure. whatever. So I think bringing it as close to home as we can mm -hmm. is, yeah, is more effective in. Focusing on yeah, it's us too, and right. that's but just my feeling. Maybe yeah. it makes it more yeah. sort of relatable. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, I, I think I, in general it's easy when you show something about what's going on in Spain to say, well, that's yeah. there. Yeah, uh, and I could be wrong, but I would like to see us. Uh, I thought that was very moving to see this about the American Indians' flight, and it really came home in a different way than if it were a country that I'm not part of. I could be totally wrong, but I. So maybe focus on North America? North America. Yeah. North American indigenous people? No. And I'll look, I'll look tomorrow. For some films, and I'll throw out some titles. Mm -hmm. And if anybody sure. would like to watch something yeah. over the weekend, maybe. Um, yeah. Does that sound okay? And yeah. if not, then throw some ideas. Then we'll just yeah. pick one. Violet and I will pick one. Yeah. Does that yeah. sound okay? That sounds good. Sure. Yeah. And, we'll, and we'll use Canopy. Here's our hand up. <laughs> we'll use Canopy because it's easy oh, and yeah. free, and we know we have permission to do yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Great. I agree with Wayne about, you know, it was something we have to pull together quickly. And that we want it to be as relevant to our audience as possible that we focus on Canada, which is a cognate to, to the United States. But I also, you know, again, that sort of stepping back and looking at the bigger picture, colonization has affected the whole world in such profound ways that have a lot to do with homophobia and other kinds of issues that we are concerned with here. So, you know, at some point, I would love us to look at that bigger picture. You know, just decolonizing happens on so many levels. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. 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 Another, good at turning people into the other. Yep. That's so really another, good at another benefit to that is that people can sometimes shut down when they feel persecuted, not persecuted, but the accused the guilt yeah. that or they oh. that they inherit oh yeah from their predecessors makes them feel you know shut down and so maybe showing that 
this isn't just us. It's been predicated across the globe. It is a, yeah. it's not just your window of culture. It's, it, it's a human condition that we tend to have power, us and them, mm -hmm. and if we can control them and keep them, and you know, whether it's building wealth on the backs of free work or it's, you know, whatever. It's a human problem. Mm -hmm. Humans don't like the other mm -hmm. and are threatened by the other. Mm -hmm. And that hasn't changed at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. yeah. So the, the challenge well, is, I think we just, I think that, that a growing amount of people have, like you, have that awareness of that is going on. Right? Mm -hmm. That the, the part where, I mean, when I was a kid, I didn't hear any of this kind of stuff talked about. Oh, really? So there, there is something about elevating the dialogue, even if we haven't changed what's going on, at least we're talking about it and learning about it. It's a someone who inspires me. Is she's a social worker, but she's always talking about the not the perspective of how far we have to go, but but look at where and and she's a woman of color, so she'll say, "I'm glad to live now than forty years ago." You know, has perspective that kind of perspective. Yeah. I grew up in a very narrow world. Yeah, where in Atlanta, where? Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta and what area? Oh, Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was a city and it was wonderful and all of that. Yeah. But I lived across the street from a village which was all black. I never met any of those people. I never saw them across the street. street. Across there were two street. streets across. Yeah. 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 And yeah. I knew they were there. Yeah. If I hadn't had a godmother who. But there were different schools aware probably. Yeah, and you yeah. learn you just don't go there. Yeah, I mean, uh, nobody told me that. Yeah. Oh, didn't have to tell you. That. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe nobody not explicitly, you. but I, I, in oh, it was in one of yeah. hidden brain oh, yeah. things. They found oh, yeah. oh, some yeah. of these biases go back to age two, three, and four. Oh, yes. Because there are just things that we, mm -hmm. it just bleeds out of us. I had a godmother who would ask me, and we, you know, as 10 and 11 year old boys, we would get on the bus and go to downtown Atlanta and hang out all day in Atlanta. And she said to me, So, when if you go down with your buddies to Atlanta and you get tired and you want to sit down and have Coke, where do you go? And I said, Oh, Woolworths is right there and Richard Ranch. Right. She said, If you were a young black woman with a baby, where would you go and rest while you were shopping? <laughs> Duh. You, you didn't know the answer to that, did you? No. I knew Never. they couldn't. Thought and she it. was relentless in this, very quiet in her own way. Wow. If it hadn't been for her, I don't think I would have been aware of this. No. 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 My family, nice people, but <laughs> my family were also comfortable with the status quo, which mm -hmm. is a repressive society. Mm -hmm. But I didn't realize it until I was in college, yep. and I was trying to find a, an apartment for second year because Cornell didn't have enough housing beyond print. And so I was looking around at my architecture class, and we, you know, I do one guy, and then we bumped up with someone else, and someone else, and we had enough to get an apartment. And so two of them I didn't really know that well, was acquainted with, got to know them better. One of the guys. I obviously knew he was African American, but I didn't know he was gay. I just had never known anyone who was gay, and I did. I was just incredibly oblivious to it. So much so that at one point we were all living together, and I'm on the phone. Which back then we didn't have cell phones. Oh yeah. So, so <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm on the phone in the living room, and I talking with my buddy and engineer across and we just did that kind of locker room banter back and forth which mm -hmm. used terms that we now know are very de derogative yeah. or yeah and after i hung up the one woman who was in our heart said do you not know that that eric's gay 
I said, Eric who? Your <laughs> roommate. <laughs> I mean, not your roommate, your housemate, because she and this, you know, I, I just didn't think, well, hell, they're sharing a room. Well, they weren't a couple, and then it made more sense. And I was like, oh, I, you know, and that was my opening. Mm -hmm. and, and I think it, it's a blessing that you get to know someone first and accept them into your world, and then you find this out. It opens, you know, that was, for me, it was an easy way to say, oh, I've been very ignorant, you know. Most of the people I know who are white had a moment like that. Yeah, yeah. We could, we had the luxury of growing up without having to deal with it. Yeah, and then all the right. Time, right? Oh, <laughs> and if you're on the other end of that, you know it all along. You know it yes. all of your life. You know it every day, mm -hmm. everywhere you go, and yeah, that well, I think that's yeah. well, somehow the, what we the have dialogue to, we have to get into that where we can talk about that kind of thing, and mm -hmm. people can talk about it who are like us discovering, yeah, and uh, yeah, wow, thanks for sharing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where where were we anyway? Uh, we're <laughs> The... Oh, movie matinee. Oh, did we finish that? Yes. Yep. You're going to get an email from me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We are going this weekend's homework. Yes. We're going tomorrow afternoon and night and part of the morning to see my son play with the Boston Pops. Oh, my uh, right. I tell you what, this band, not very Hall. Oh, 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 New Hampshire. Huh? Nice. The place in New Hampshire. I didn't know right. they were doing it. And uh, <laughs> his band, well, it's his band. It's, Mm -hmm. He's music director of the band. Yeah. Right. So I'm off duty. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's it's only. Sunday night. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. When is Violet's newsletter? Monday? She said, no, I don't know. She yeah. said next week. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very organized. Violet. Yes. We will look forward to that. Thank you. Uh, new business item. B by B questions for new humane uh, the human resource director Troy Bryn. Um So yeah, I I went and I met briefly with Troy, very nice gentleman, and he said sure he would love to come meet with us, uh, schedule that. But he also suggested it might be great if we uh, before he came we shared a list of things we might. Want to ask him, so, right? So he could not just be there, like, uh, sure, I'll get back to you. Yeah, he could maybe, you know, start by addressing the questions we had already yeah. sent him, and then go into a, mm -hmm. a more of a dialogue. It gives him time to, yeah, yeah to. I mean, to he's new on the scene, so he he might not be able to just. Oh, that's the answer yeah. to this. You know? mm -hmm. Okay. So Do we have questions that we ask previously that we can refer to and and we do this um, not necessarily tonight, but no, right. is there a way we can correspond with each other and you know, not hold committee right. things? But I think we can each Send our questions to one person, and that way it's not a dialogue. It's not don't a answer it. Right. Yeah. Don't go back that around. Yeah. That's yeah. that that does not violate open. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That be like yeah. we do yeah. that, yeah. and we do that sometime before the end of next week. Mm. Wow. Yeah. I can look to see what questions we used with the other individuals that we interviewed. Remember, yeah, we interviewed great. Chief mm -hmm. Mason, and we may have similar questions okay. that we asked. I'll do that too, but think yeah. of your questions and send them to me, and I'll look to see yeah. if I can find out. Mm -hmm. You could maybe midweek send out a reminder. Sure. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. And let's make a deadline of, say, Next Saturday, that we'll have those for a symposium. Okay. Did uh, someone on that 
subject. Did everyone see? I, I didn't open it, but I just saw the opening preview of it. Was there, I thought there was an email today from the town. I don't know if everyone got that. I and I just saw something about a uh, new code of conduct. So I don't know if we have. I didn't see that. Uh, it might only go to the committee chairs or something. I didn't look at my. Let me see if I can find it. Hmm. I thought I was scrolling through my. Uh, here it is, 442. From. Um, looks like it's from Jennifer. Yes, from Jennifer Sanders James. No, I don't have anything. Uh, the headline subject is Town of Hadley Code of Conduct Guidelines for Town Boards, Commissions, and Committees, and the Town of Hadley Committee Handbook. So I will send this out to everyone. Yeah, so you probably got it because of being the chair. Right. And uh, it looks fairly short, but I'll send it because it also has a link. Um, mm -hmm. And I'll just read it quickly. It says the select board recently adopted a code of conduct. Right. Guidelines for town boards, commissions, and committees in a town of Hadley committee handbook. The select board asks your board to review and adopt the code of conduct. Please inform the select board office of your committee's adoption date. The committee handbook will provide all committee members an introduction to serving on a town board, how to conduct a meeting, sample agendas and minutes, along with additional information. There is also a committee member acknowledgement form at the end of the handbook. The select board asks that all members of your committee review the handbook and return the acknowledgement form to this office. What do they think we've been doing? Wow. Uh, well, no, I think this is good that they're getting well, all they're, these board members. They're notifying it. Yeah, yeah, and they're getting everyone Standardizing. to yeah. say, yes, I've read this, so that yeah. No one can say, oh, I haven't read yeah. that when they get called yeah. to the table because it's something they, that they do or say. Yeah. Or post, post on, on Facebook. Yes. <laughs> right. And, and it's, and it's Ideally, just, Wayne. I didn't even <laughs> think of posting. <laughs> I have also created a link on the website. No, not else. That <laughs> sends that. If you have any other questions about either the code of conduct or the committee handbook, please contact Wayne. No, no. It says, please contact the yeah. select board office. Yeah. After to take this question. And, yeah. <laughs> so I will send this out tonight. Uh, Thank you to all of you. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, that up would be uh, the end of the new business that we have slated was future collaboration initiatives. Do we already cover that or do we just start to touch it? Do we want to put this on a future agenda and spend some time I on think it? So yeah. Yeah. I move to do that. You're talking about what the thing we all talked about. Yeah, before. so let's like yeah. think more about it. We'll I put this think on about the agenda that. and yeah. then we'll think about how we might develop that. Yeah. Okay. So we have we are currently at we're six with Megan. Megan Dillon who couldn't make it tonight. Mm -hmm. And um, Pat and I know that Megan has a very busy um, work and other commitments mm -hmm. through through the fall. So she is not expecting to be able to join us for the rest of this calendar year. Wow. And hoping to uh, hoping to uh, re reconnect and, and jump back in after the calendar year changes, but I guess we'll see what her schedule looks like. Um, I, I, something just triggered that, and I guess you could say that's going into six open agenda. Um, but I, I was just, I was getting prepared to send you all that, that email. And I looked, I'm like, oh, there's only one, two, three, four, five, six. There's only 
by the emails I'm sending it to, mm -hmm. uh, I'm like, oh, we're only six of us. And, and so our quorum is actually six would be four. Yes. Mm -hmm. Anyway, interesting. Could I elaborate on that? Sure. Mark? Yes. Um, specifically, Megan was scheduled to teach a class at UMass, and they, they picked the Thursday night. And so um, that's why she can't attend. Yeah, she has a direct conflict, and she um, she has conflicts other nights. So even if we decided to change the night, she wouldn't be able to come. But right. they oh, so it was just inadvertent. Yeah, yeah. inadvertent that she locked out of this time slot. Yeah. But she said she would she would watch the Zoom meeting, and she'd keep up. Um, okay, she just can't if weigh in or attend them. Right. Maybe right. if we had any need for a subcommittee to work on something. Right. That she oh, could, that she could work. Yeah. You know, and like some of these things else. that we're thinking okay. about, she might have ideas on. Mm -hmm. I mean, she, it's such a resource with her mm -hmm. previous mm -hmm. experience yeah. and a social worker. Oof. Yeah. You know, there's some way we could utilize that. would be great. This might be the time for us to again put out the word that yeah. we are a committee and we welcome members. I know it doesn't get very far, but we got one last time. And I, I think we need to continually do and that. Do you mean Megan by that? No, I mean how how do we get there's another gentleman get, that's that's interesting. There's how did we woman. get the woman? There was a woman oh, yeah. that Sarah actually spoke with who's yeah. interested in joining the committee. Yeah. And then a man who was interested in like three or four town Oh, yeah, right, right. And I think he's chosen a different committee okay. to apply for. But I think that there's one person who's going to or has submitted an application to join our committee and is very interested in it. So, yeah. okay. Um, it's possible that we will have seven people, which the town prefers. In a uh, case of a tie, okay. yeah, you know, I'm not, oh, yeah. so um, yeah, right. So I think we might have another That's member. I I just happened to speak to Jennifer about that because I wasn't sure about the timeline, and she said that they are going to interview um, applicants for committees. I think she said September the sixth. So is that how it works? I like guess it works that way applicants. now, but it didn't work that way for us. Oh, no, right. but right. no, <laughs> but you got it at the ground floor, <laughs> right? But maybe because we were forming a committee. I mean, I do know they interview for other committees. Sure, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. So, so anyway, that green, was what Jennifer said. Part screen volunteers. Well, they interview, I guess, and then they make the final. Like we were appointed. We might not have been interviewed, but we applied and yeah. we were appointed, and and that's what they're going to do with this person who's interested in joining us they're going to interview uh -huh. her and all the other people to inter interest in other committees okay. she, she said the sixth was okay after the okay. sixth that was when she thought we would have somebody so I i'm hoping that maybe it still means three people plus one is a quorum if we have seven people mark would you say that that is a quorum is four is four yeah. or three no, quorum has to be has to be, be greater than fifty percent. Great, right? So even with seven, it it can be four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. It can't be three because then right. Be, so before it'd be four. So yeah. it'd be four with six and four with seven. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that is guard our advantage. Yeah. Then five yeah. with eight. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. 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 Okay. So that is our advantage then. Five with eight. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I have sent that oh. uh, that email to all. So is there a place where we could twice a year or once a year put out a call for members? Yes, I think there Let is. Let it be known. Yeah. He's waving his hand. Yeah, we can, <laughs> we can have put down that message yeah. yeah. I think we should do that at least once a year, maybe yeah. twice. And uh, Why not? who knows what would come. What about our webpage? I mean, that's if they happen to come there, say we are looking for or we are always entertaining new members or something like that. We, we don't want to say we're looking for new members and then say, oh, no, we're actually at our maximum. I would trust this more. No, I mean, that's that's just if, they, that's, if they're if they so focused that they come, they right. find our website. But 
a centralized blast or exposure would be better. Yeah, I would object to having that sentence added. Committee is always. Yeah, and everything we co-sponsor, it's <clears throat> something that should just always be. I mean, it's okay if there's 25 applicants and the next time around we pick one. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I wonder you if know. there's a venue that we could, you know, certain venues like. Is it appropriate if we let Annie know that we would entertain a, if they wanted to have a student representative again or something like that? You know? I'm just trying to think where we could get younger members to cover more the demographic and uh, what you know there's a particular organization. I'm gonna have to go pretty soon. Yeah, yeah, I think we're um I had one other uh I don't know if we open agenda that came to mind. While we were talking earlier, I had an idea that I just I'll put out there. <clears throat> if we ever, which I don't think we have yet, if we ever found that we got through our agenda, we still had a half an hour or 15 minutes or 10 minutes of time, would we want to create a kind of a cue? Like, oh, here's something that when we have time, we'd love to tackle this issue. And then if we found that we got through that month's agenda, and still had time before everyone had to go back to their lives. Does, does that make sense? I don't. I don't know what you call that. Because I call that putting it in the parking lot for revisiting later. Because mm -hmm. there are things that are bigger like than we have time to talk about. That might be something we'd like to revisit, or something we want to redo, revisit on a recurring basis. You know, that could be another. I in mean, that category, I would put public events. That we begin to plan for yeah. things like what we're going to propose for the fall and like we did last spring. And mm. those were really wonderful. And I think if we got ahead of the game mm. and we're planning, maybe yeah. we get a theme. Could we, we have a booth at the Asparagus Festival yeah. next year? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm, I'm, I was thinking more about speakers yeah. uh, that we sponsor or films we sponsor. And just keep always put ideas in and maybe get one in the fall and one in the spring. Yeah. Uh, and just keep the ideas coming about what we want to see. Mm -hmm. uh, that may keep it, it would help me if, we, if, if it's always there to get to look more for things that we could do. I, that would be one thing I think would be a recurring. Yeah. Uh, issue I for agree. us to think yeah. about. I think, that, I think if you do, if, if you, if a group is doing something regularly, that group is known, especially if it's good exactly. quality, right? So we right. have exactly. even yeah. one speaker a year, but if we had two, I mean, it would be that's the group that does X great right. thing. And then you start getting interest in people right. joining. Exactly. It's, exactly. it's all tied in together. Yeah. Exactly. I think that's yeah. a key to a lot of things. <laughs> And being known and getting more people to right. visit these things, but also, oh, there is this committee. I know because I saw that movie that they sponsored and, right. and I heard that discussion. And I think the more public we can be. Yeah. So that could be something yeah. and it's never, ever too early to think about an event coming, even if it's That's next right. Indigenous yeah. People's Day. Yeah. Right? That's right. It's never exactly. too early. Exactly. So that would be one thing I would put on that yeah. list that we would revisit regularly. Yeah, have a have a list. Okay. And that can go on it. And that can cover a lot. Yeah. Oh. I wanted to ask it, it, okay. Yeah, yeah. I got this other document and it looks like what's going to go in the annual report. Were we going to cover the last annual report? This is the last. Oh, this is in 2022. And so it, it, it's great. So why did I get it? Because I thought it was the minutes. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh because I have this new, very ordinary oh. system of folders, and I went into my folder. Thank you very much, Sarah, for oh, encouraging okay. my folder system. And I pulled what I thought was the agenda, 
and okay. it was the annual report, which probably is listed alphabetically right well, below agendas. And uh, so that's uh, okay. so minutes or whatever. Or I accidentally, then I said okay. take two. No, you, you did it for a reason, because yeah. what I wanted to Well, no, all, there was no reason. Uh, it was an accident. No, no. You know how nothing happens in my accident. Oh, I see. Okay. 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 But now so you're, going. Very, you're very... So what I'm saying here is, is what I see here is that we... Co we co-sponsored a Juneteenth program. Yeah. Are we going to keep doing that? Yes. Indigenous Peoples Day, we're doing that again. The Hadley World's Fair. I mean, I'm seeing emerging yeah. Yeah. some mm -hmm. events. And I just wanted to say, I can't make the town meeting. We haven't talked about that. There's a town, the next town meeting is October. I have a business trip. But oh. isn't that some, uh, the next town meeting is October 26th. It would be, what if we, so that's two events. One is June, one is October. What if we did a third one and maybe in January we could do something around MLK? Yeah, exactly. And then, exactly. then we're always working towards, towards that next trimester. I, I think that's a wonderful idea and it makes sense for us, except a lot of people are doing something for Martin Luther King's Day. Yeah. And I would like to see us do it Something on our schedule, yeah. When those other things aren't happening, yeah. well, well, I think we would because yeah. these none of these were on the actual right. on the actual day, right? But in that, but period. maybe our January meeting, or not not January, you know, maybe somewhere in the month of January, we do some some other. I was just thinking that it spreads out our our efforts yeah. to June, uh, October, and then I I just thought January. Seemed like it was about November, November December, something? January. Can't you remember? Did we co sponsor a movie? February might be the month Didn't to we? do it. Yeah, I think that's why I'm thinking, trying to recall what you, we did. We're probably going to need to write another one of these up at some point, but. So actually, you know, it, it would be February. I really think we did. Four months we did months. three. I know we did three, but I can't remember what the third was. Sarah. Oh, my. Yeah, go, Sarah. I just see it that we, we did well, something this year in February. I think we were busy with the affordable housing mm -hmm. business. Um, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to. Yep, yeah, yep. I think yeah. 815 uh, was our goal. So yep. if you have to go at 810, that's fine. Can we just that, confirm that Thursday's at seven work for you? Generally. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Generally. My family's used to it now. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Do, do we want to do we want to close if he leaves then there's not a quorum now or is or, oh wait do we keep one, going because there's four because there's six five and we only need four as a quorum yeah, so if, if Wayne, Wayne was bonus oh what a nice <laughs> thing to say an excellent bonus that's not the way i feel you needed him until i came <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Extra baggage. Do, uh, I was thinking the cherry have, on top of the Do cookie. we have much more to cover? Uh, no. Uh, mm -hmm. Closing reflection. We've got a pile of upcoming dates. And adjournment. Okay. Yeah. A pile of upcoming dates. So Pat asked a key question. Are we all good with staying with Thursday nights? Yep. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. 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 I think that is the substance. Uh, we could then move on. We could skip over closing reflections. Closing reflections, we had great dialogue. We yeah. did. We did. <laughs> and uh, that was that. Well, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. And move we adjourn. And second. Move and second. All in favor? Yes.